Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley, nice to meet you. Today we're gonna be doing a start to finish slay here on the channel and of course, it's courtesy of Niflion Wigs. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the packaging the wig comes in. They sent over these 5D mink lashes, super, super nice. I'm actually gonna be wearing these tomorrow. This reversible bonnet, which I absolutely love. It is big enough to house all of my wigs at night. And of course it's reversible, so I have two sides. They also sent over wig caps. They gave you your elastic, um, your comb, and then also these hair clips, which is amazing. So this one is a tritone wig it goes for that brown ombre look we have the blonde highlight in the front um the dark root and then again it's like a nice chocolate brown on the ends it comes pre-curled with a side part and i think this is gonna be super beautiful it's done very tastefully i know i get these um requests often from companies that want me to try wigs like this and i do get a little bit nervous and hesitant because sometimes when companies try to you know um master a look like this it just comes out really cheesy but i trusted this company and i really really liked from the pictures what this one looked like so i went ahead and agreed to do it and it, they absolutely came through i love the way it came out it's not too cheesy it doesn't look too fake or anything like that and to be honest this was super easy as an install all i had to do was literally bond it down and the curls are already ready to go i didn't have to touch up the curls at all so you'll be going on this journey from with me from start to finish so for starters i am going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace you guys see i am using an eyebrow razor to go ahead and give a little bit more of a natural look i do prefer an eyebrow razor just because it kind of makes it a little bit more jagged which in theory you would think you know if it's jagged it's going to make the lace look messy you're not going for a super messy like tear up the lace but you just want it to not be so blunt and straight across that way it could kind of camouflage the demarcation of where the lace stops or starts and your um, actual skin begins also be sure to customize the lace around the ear this is very 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 key sometimes I will wait until after I bond the center part of the wig down because once you bond it down and you kind of pull it taut you will find that there will still be a little bit too much lace around the ear hopefully that makes sense and you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment so as far as the deets on this one it's 20 inches in length um it is a 13 by 6 which means you get six inches of parting space and i did send over a medium sized cap so for bonding down i'm going to use this bond here i've been using this one in lieu of the got to be glue and i actually like it a lot um i kind of like to spray directly on the hairline after i've cut off the lace you guys see i have a fresh clean towel because you definitely will have to chase each spray with a towel a rag or something because it may drip and especially if you have on makeup it will feel like it's messy now i've noticed that a lot of people don't like to cut the lace first because they feel like the install is a lot more messy and it's harder to get it to bond down i guess because i taught myself this way first i prefer this way to be honest i've been trying to teach myself the way of you know keeping the lace on bonding it down then cutting the lace off and i personally find that way is more messy so it's all about preference and what you learn first i guess you would say so you guys can see i bonded down the center first and i used my hands to kind of pull it taut well now the lace around the ears is too big once again so i will have to go ahead and customize around that and then of course i'm going to go ahead and bond it down around the ear now a lot of the times especially with tutorials here on youtube you will see that i don't bond it down completely from ear to ear just because i do have hair there and i find that where there's hair especially around the ear for some reason it just does not stay put the way it does in the center um, it definitely helps if you use a blow dryer on a cool setting i like to make sure i have a rat tail comb because as it dries and gets tacky using your finger there it kind of will make it look sticky and messy so if my finger is there i'm literally holding it in place i'm not like dabbing it because again it'll make it look and feel sticky so here I am just making sure it's completely dry on a cool setting and you kind of can tell when it's bonded super good because it will feel 
not tight as in like too tight on your head but it'll feel snug like it'll feel like the wig is applied you can definitely tell the difference so we're doing the same thing on the opposite side and i did opt for like a no baby hair look so i kind of just bonded it down so you guys can see it is possible but it just takes a lot more work and again i like to sometimes just pretty much tuck it around the ear you guys can see it's a little bit messy there so i am definitely going to go ahead and clean that up with rubbing alcohol and just just a moment off camera but also if you find spots where um, it's not bonded down properly and you do want to go in and not necessarily spray your um, spray directly on top you can use the end of the rat tail comb and kind of just spot touch up little spots if you please also I think it's a good idea after this to go ahead and lay it down um, with a scarf I find that I always 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 use a scarf around my hairline as much as possible and this is pretty much what the hairline looks like you guys can kind of see I use the end of the red tail comb or my finger kind of just tease the hairline especially where the blonde is because you kind of want it to look a little bit messy so that it just doesn't look too boxy if that makes any sense you kind of want to have that baby hair um almost frizzy effect in the front just because if it's like a blunt um start to where the hairline is it kind of just looks way too wiggy because obviously blonde is not a natural look or color for me and you guys can see i did um cut down just a little bit of baby hair now as a brown skinned woman whenever I do a lace wig with a blonde um, hairline I definitely don't feel the need to tweeze out the hairline um, seldom you'll get one that is extremely extremely dense and in that case you will but in this case I kind of feel like I can finesse and you don't need to just because you can't really see the root obviously it's blonde so it doesn't look too thick or full even if it is if that makes any sense also, if you want a darker root here, you can go in with different products. You can use like the Wella products um, to go in and like deepen the root up. But I think the purpose of this look was to have a more blonde root as is. So I kept it the way it was. And again, if you want to do baby hair, I would recommend using a mousse foam lotion. But if you kind of just want to like make the edges look a little bit less boxy and move things around, I prefer to use a wax stick and I find that does a better job. Now here I am just slightly cleaning up the parting. I think I could have done um, like rearranged the parting and made it a deeper parting. But because it came with curls, I didn't want to mess up the curls too much by moving too much around. I wanted to just do a quick and easy install with this one and pretty much, um, you know, not ruin the curls, which I didn't. They came out amazing. Now you guys see here, I'm using the heat from my wand curler to go ahead and smooth out the crown of my head. And the reason this is, is because I had it already preheated. I just knew I was going to have to touch up a few curls and I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't. Also, you guys know, I always recommend that you go ahead and co-wash your wigs as you receive them. It makes for a more sanitary install and even... Um, more than that it definitely makes for a better install i just feel like my wigs always look better once installed after a fresh wash like every single time um here i am using the hot comb as well even though i like it to look a little bit messy in the front i kind of want it to be a smooth uniform messy <laughs> so here um, i'm just using the flat iron to kind of separate and make everything look smooth I want it to look like it's growing out of my scalp and this definitely took the install to the next level I think it looks so much better than it did before I did this step and I almost almost didn't do so and here you can see how the um, hair is starting to look a little bit frizzy I was definitely a little bit nervous that I was gonna have to go in and touch up the curls as I said before but surprisingly I was able to add my serum and um, all that frizz went away instantly and I did not have to do anything to the curls at all. So 
So we're coming to the end of the install on this one and I will say that I absolutely loved it. Um, at this point, I just kind of primped. I took my wide tooth comb and kind of just pulled out um, the curls. You guys can see I got a little bit of shedding and it pretty much was the blonde area, which you guys already know, blonde hair sheds more than a darker hair. So um, it wasn't anything alarming. I'm not gonna be bald um, <laughs> within a week or anything like that, but you will get an increased amount of shedding if you dye your hair blonde, just a heads up. I did check out their website and this wig is of Brazilian hair origin um, they do offer medium cap small cap and also a large size cap you can also get this one in a full lace wig as I mentioned this is a 13 by 6 but a full lace would look beautiful as well and of course there is HD lace with the knots bleach if I did not mention here is my last step I'm gonna use a concealer this is the Fenty by Rihanna in the color 420 and I'm just gonna dab this into the parting I'm not putting this in the hairline just the parting for a more skin like appearance okay so this is a finished look I am using my new lens so this is a prime lens forgive me if you kind of can hear the adjustment you probably would not have noticed it if I wouldn't have said anything but um, I already filmed this intro but the kids were with me and also my face wasn't good, so I decided to just come back and redo it. I kind of wanted to show you guys a close-up of the hair. Now, I have not used the curling iron, the flat iron, anything on the curls. These are literally the way the curls came. Um, you guys just see it did give me a little bit of shedding and more so in the... Um, comb was more so the blonde hair you guys already should know that blonde hair is going to shed a lot more than anything like you can't really say like it's blonde hair and it's not going to shed if that makes any sense but i absolutely love the color combo i definitely feel like this can look very cheesy but this company definitely did it very tastefully you guys also see that i did go ahead and add a little bit of concealer to the parting i switch up how i do things often but lately i've been loving the concealer in the parting just because I find that every time I use a powder even though I have so many I still find that a lot of the times it comes out red and I don't want it to be red I kind of want it to be more neutral and that and that's pretty much what I get here it's not the same color as my complexion but a lot of times your scalp is lighter than your complexion anyway so I feel like it looks skin light even though it is a little bit lighter opposed to if I would put the powder it would have been maybe a little bit more red maybe not it just depends on the lace um, as far as this side goes or the hairline in general I kind of wanted to do more so like edges opposed to like baby hair just because I kind of felt like the baby hair would not be able to be seen as much anyways. So I did trim it down a little bit but it wasn't necessary and I kind of feel like when I do baby hair I use the mousse and when I do edges I kind of just use a little bit of a wax to kind of move it in the direction that I want it to go but it definitely looks a lot better and a lot more realistic in a way than it did when it had nothing in the front so go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this I kind of literally just finished my makeup so I have to go back in and touch up my lashes I gotta add mascara to my lashes but yeah let me know what you guys think um, I think the curls came out super cute. All I did was use my um, bio soap to kind of like pull them out and add a little bit of a serum. And then I used my white tooth comb to kind of just comb them out. They are a lot tighter than what I like as far as my curls go. But nowadays, I just don't have the time to like curl my hair every single day. So it is more convenient to have a tighter curl. That way, day one, it can be tight curl. Day two, it can be loose curl. And then day three, it can be waves because they will drop over time. Whereas if I start off with loose, loose curls, next day, it's straight with a little cramp. You know what I mean? So make sure you check out this company. I absolutely love that they gave me a reversible bonnet. I've been in need of a new one and that one is definitely going to work. They also gave the backpack and all the other goodies, which was super nice. So make sure you guys check them out. Link to this wig is in the description box as well as a list of everything I used to achieve this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!